अच्छा और व्हाट इज़ डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क एंड इंटरोगेशन वन बाय वन या प्लीज आप बोलिए व्हाट इज़ डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सक्लेमेशन मार्क एंड इंटरोगेशन जी ओके वॉट इज क्वेश्चन इज अ क्वेश्चन इफ आई से इन बोथ केसेज वी यूज वट इन बोथ केसेज वी यूज वट देन वेयर आई शुड नो आई एम यूजिंग एक्सक्लेमेशन एंड वेयर आई शुड नो आई एम यूजिंग question mark if you i am using exclamation it must have a <coughs> so how you can distinguish between question and exclamation mark is before after what you need to add uh, to make it exclamation if you drop this If you keep it as a question, you don't have to use it. Acha, one very important and uh, very important uh, object to observation is that sometimes you write down sometimes sometimes. ये ये भी S S B में एक question आया था. Exactly, it's the same. I have the copy with me. Write down. Sometimes, a or an sometimes a or an represents a weakened comes over a weakened. form of preposition weakened form of preposition in preposition in example likhe he earns 50000 rupees a year Actually, sentence क्या होना चाहिए था He earns fifty thousand rupees in a in year. So we can say if you you replace it with a uh, this is the weaker equivalent of preposition in. ये भी आया था. ये question भी आया था. You write down. Sometimes आपने लिखा समटाइम्स क्या होता है समटाइम्स वी कैन यूज ए टू वीकन द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ प्रिपोजिशन इन एक और एग्जाम्पल लिखिए वी शुड ब्रश अवर टीथ टू टाइम्स अ डे वी शुड ब्रश अवर टीथ टू टाइम्स अ डे इन अ डे a day so a is a weaker preposition equivalent of in clear now ab main aapko ek list deta hu jahan pe bhi aap ye naam dekhenge unme aap da lagayenge theek hai right now acha ek minute ek minute ek minute can you pronounce this word क्या मतलब होता है क्या होता है फ्यू मीन्स इफ यू यू इफ यू एड ए बिफोर इट ए फ्यू इट मीन्स ए गुड क्वांटिटी अगर इसके बगैर इट मीन्स हार्डली एनी हार्डली ऑलमोस्ट नथिंग इफ से द फ्यू ए वेरी गुड क्वांटिटी I have few friends means I have no friend I have a friend kuch hai I have the friends bahut sare so removing a is hardly any
putting a is a quantity, some quantity, and putting the is a bigger quantity. Yeah. Ha. See, what is few by meaning kuch, but that is not certain. If you add a before few, it becomes a quantity, countable quantity. If you add the plus few, it becomes a bigger quantity. ठीक है? Okay, now the list of the proper nouns, list of the proper nouns wherein you use the, list of the proper nouns wherein you use the historical buildings, mountain ranges, planets, rivers, oceans, gulfs, gulf, gulfs, group of islands, groups of islands, groups of islands, the Netherlands, the New Zealands, okay, second, holy books, the Quran, the Gita, the Bible, Second, name of countries, states, newspapers, magazines, deserts, superlative degrees, countries, states, newspapers, magazines, <coughs> deserts, superlative degrees of adjectives, name of trains, hotels, shops and parts of the body, parts of the body, musical instruments. So wherever you find all these, you have to use the, because they are specific, they are specific. Now. Uh, write down the question. Yes. Support errors wherever necessary. USA, the USA, group of group of states, not USA only. Because uh, all newspapers must have the heading the right. That is their problem. But all newspapers must be. They are not papers. They are. They are. They are newspapers. What makes them different from the other paper is names. So they are particular. So we must put the Hindu. They say the Hindu, the pioneer. Right? It is very important that you should know the uh, mountain peaks, the Himalayas. No, no, peaks range is actually Himalaya is not a uh, name of a mountain. It's a name of a range. Is the range the Mount Everest? Because you are saying of out of all the mounts, there is one particular, the Mount Everest. Okay, write down. Support the errors. You don't have to insert the article. You only have to support the errors. So there will be three questions, right? Hello, remember there will be three questions. Number one, well, supporting error. Second, inserting proper articles. Third, omission of articles. So let us try. Can you uh, locate the errors? Number one, he is as a weak boy. His he is as a weak boy. As my brother, the loins are carnivores. The loins are carnivores.
He was watching the television. He was watching the television. When I called on him last night. When I, he was watching television when I called him when I called him when I called on him last night. Higher you go, cooler it is. Good. Galat sentence. He said, Bolong Galat. Pale, it gives me a chance. See, see. Ne, ne, ne. Please, please. Sometimes, compared to degree, before compared to degree, we can use the, the, the higher you go, the cooler it is. Otherwise, rule kya hai? Super late. Aap ko pata hai adjective ke kitne forms hai? Kitne hai? Teen. Koon koon sa? Positive. Come pale comparative. Then? What is positive? If I say able. Okay. Then yaha pe. Now a beautiful is a word. Haan. So, there are two chances. If the verb has the ER form and EST form, okay, if not, then add more and the, mo the most. More or? By the way, what is word beautiful? Hey, what, is, what it explains? So, listen carefully. There are so many adjectives that we misuse them. Uh, can you give me the sentence on beautiful? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, of course, I respect you. <laughs> if I say this sentence is not right, what do you, what, what actually you are explaining? What actually you are explaining? Why? Where is that? What is beautiful? Kya bol reya? What is beauty? Ye galat hai. See, unless and until you describe adjective, it is wrongly placed. It, is, it explains nothing. She has charming looks is beauty. So we need to explain these adjectives. Otherwise, putting an adjective for the sake of adjective explain is nothing. He is ugly. I am explaining nothing. <coughs> so please, whenever you are using adjectives, please don't use it for the, uh, for the sake of using as the seventh grade student is using it. You need to break adjectives into their qualities. We say God is we say the Almighty Allah. Right? It is better than saying God is great. Right? So we, we must please see the We have been taught uh, in, in a way in the schools and in the colleges uh, a kind of uh, I am saying uh, he is beautiful. What I am explaining? Think over it for a minute. What am I explaining? The looks of the person. Uh, where is that? For you, okay. For him, looks is the quantity of quality of beauty. For him, the softness and gentleness is the quality of beauty. For him, the smoothness and the calmness and the composure is the concept of beauty. We are not explaining that. That is, yeah, this is the concept of my beauty. So if I put it as a beautiful girl, I am putting nothing. I am putting nothing. That depends how you are how you quantify the beauty. That's why I'm saying be creative. That is what I'm saying. Okay, please write down one sentence using uh, the adjective beautiful. Use one sentence. I'll show you how creativity is, varies from person to person. You, 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 you put it on the paper. 
Put it on the paper. Shadil, yeah. Put it on the paper. Use properly. Use it properly. Use the word beautiful properly. Properly, not word, the quantification of it. I'm sure for that. See, uh, the secret of writing. Hello, give me two minutes, but please listen carefully. The secret of writing is to show things. Please repeat. The secret of writing is to show things. Right? And the secret of defective English to hide and confuse things. So when you are impressive writer, you need to show things. Mike, I just want to I just want to say the looks of that girl has mesmerizing or appealing. So for me that is beauty. So I'm showing it rather than pasting a word for the sake of the word. That is not impressive writing. Can you uh, can you read your sentence? Yeah, please. Ab kyun nahi likh raha? Ab to pehle bol lete hain. Fir se aa gaya na? Voice ke sath beautiful nahi banta hai na? Ab dekhiye. Okay, I have learned one more thing. Maine aap log aapko bola na kal bhi. I am learning from the students. Isne bola beautiful voice. Voice ke sath beauty beautiful. Kya lagega? Nahi. Kya lagega? Voice ke. See that is that is that is that is where we lack proper melodious voice, sonorous voice. Impressive voice, right? So if we say beautiful voice, we are misusing the adjective in a misplace. Not confusing because you don't want to learn. The question is, shh, question is, okay, tell me, uh, my coat is beautiful, my shoe is beautiful, this pen is beautiful, you are beautiful. What is the concept of beauty? We have to show it. We have to show it. We have to show it. My shoes are polished. They are shiny. Not beautiful. My coat is, okay, is long, short, right? His appearance is attractive. Ah, great. Beautiful. Beautiful. You have learned. Other than saying beautiful, her appearance is? Now, cute cannot be used for any boy or girl. It is the word specific for kids. <laughs> uh, Shadil, your word for beautiful? Nini, I won't, I won't leave you. Shh. One minute, one minute. Use this, use this word properly. Okay. She is like the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I suppose See, I suppose he has used simile, a beautiful simile, but not the. She is like, she is like the, kya? The 40th moon. That will add more charm to it. Rather than saying beautiful. Okay, now. Can you please uh, pronounce this word? Nice. 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 This pen is? This camera is? Nice. These papers are? Nice. What is nice? <laughs> so, so, my dear students, I need to make you conscious of the things that please use adjectives properly. They are confusing adjectives. Say for example, say for example, this cup of tea is spicy, not nice, not nice, right? This pen is, this pen is sharp, blunt, not nice, hairstyle, agar hai koi, curly, blandy, one-sided, two-sided, back-sided, Okay, anybody, can you uh, explain a person who has, who is uh, bald? 
Who is bald? Okay, how can you use this word? I am bald. Okay. What is that? What does that mean? Please, huh? Don't use this word. It is the word is. He is thin at heights. Rather than showing the bald, this is the kind of uh, adjective that we have to use. It. That's that that shows it, baldness. Because baldness is a disease at times. This is thin at heights. Okay. Shh. Now, one minute. When you are using adjectives, you need to know. You need to know. You are beautifying a noun. You are beautifying a the book. Is an attribute to it. जब हम द लगाते हैं ना नाउन के सामने इसकी एक क्वालिटी बनती है हम क्या करते हैं एट्रीब्यूट करते हैं वेन यू वॉन्ट टू डेकोरेट समथिंग राइट वुड यू कन्फ्यूज मी दिस पेन इज ब्यूटिफुल आई एम गिविंग ए ब्यूटिफुल पेन एज अ गिफ्ट सो यू आर कन्फ्यूजिंग मी पेन एंड ब्यूटिफुल ब्यूटिफुल इज एक्चुअली एन एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ अपियरेंस एवरी थिंग हैज इट्स ओन एडजेक्टिव मीनिंग एंड प्रॉपर यूसेज लाइक somebody said uh, nice uh, shoes nice coffee if sh agar shoes bhi nice or coffee bhi to kya peete hain that is nahi ab main yahi bol raha hu na jo aap jo hame uh, sikhaya gaya hai na randomly sikhaya gaya hai matlab uh, now don't you think okay okay uh, i i i love criticism I have learned from criticism only. Don't you think that we have opened up certain things? Yes. We are knowing what exactly grammar is, yes. right? It should have been in the class eight or nine, seventh. Okay. Now one last question. All body parts, organs, heart, liver, kidney, they use particular the planets, the earth. If I say. No phone is allowed in the campus. No phone is allowed on the campus. Which one is correct? In the campus. Uh, can you raise hands who says in the campus? Because I have to give you a certain amount. Great. You'll get five hundred rupees. Ab dekho kitna misconcept. Can we live in in the earth or on the earth? On the earth. A campus. Ca Campus, on. campus, on. why in? Because it has a limited boundary. So is is a we are not saying we are not saying within the campus. We are saying in campus. So when you say within the campus, then in is within is within is proposition, not in. We should say on campus. Campus kya hai? Surface. Kis pe baatte? Surface ke andar. Premises ke andar ja ke? Nee. I I I love critics. I shut up. Shh. Yeah, please. Right. No. Shh. Ah, listen. Shh. Listen carefully. Yehi hai. Thoda. Ham sochte hain Kashmiri mein. Fir Urdu mein translate karte hain. और फिर लिखते इंग्लिश ऑनेस्टली मैं भी मैं भी मैं भी मैं भी सब बिकॉज मदर टंग इन्फ्लुएंस इज इज द वर्स्ट क्राइम द वर्स्ट द एनिमी अब देखिए व्हेन देयर आर टू सरफेसेस एंड टू सरफेसेस हैव अ कॉन्टैक्ट टू ईच अदर व्हेन द टू सरफेस हैव यू आर ऑन अर्थ कैन वी गो इन अर्थ we can say we you do not use phone on campus if we say in campus that is in campus is in campus is promotion or recruitment because we are doing in campus recruitment there is a campus covered right then the in campus recruitment on on campus agar aap in bhi bolte hain na koi qatl karne wala nahi hai theek hai लेकिन जो एक्सपर्ट होंगे लैंग्वेज के वो इसको करेक्ट करेंगे जरूरी आम लैंग्वेज में गलत बट बट एक्सपर्ट में 
on surface right on surface in the school in the school okay so when you talk of a school there are two versions good my father visited the school take i attended school why the with father and why i without preposition listen carefully when somebody is doing some work for example i go to church यूजअली मैं तो जाता नहीं आई गो टू द चर्च बिकॉज मैं प्रे करने के लिए कोई और काम करने के लिए गया देन आई यूज द माई फादर ने वो गोज टू स्कूल बिकॉज ही इज एल्डरली वेन ही गोज टूज पर्पज सो देर फॉर द स्कूल अगर मैं जाता मैं स्टूडेंट हूँ मेरे पास तो ये रूटीन है तो नो आर्टिकल इफ से नाउ इन द स्कूल द स्कूल इज अ बिल्डिंग राइट स्कूल इज अ बिल्डिंग कैन वी से we are in the class when we say in the class you have taken the area into consideration actually you are sitting on the floor so on the floor in the class right on the floor in the class ab chair pe hai chair pe kya hoga in chair aayega ki on chair dono theek hai agar chair ke if this is a chair is pe on aayega agar arms hai इन चेयर सो ये जो इन है ना कॉन्सेप्ट मैंने बोला इज अकर फॉर्म ऑफ ए क्लियर हो गया ना सो एट टाइम वी कैन यूज ए एज अ वीकर फॉर्म ऑफ इन ठीक है इज इट ओवर